This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 16, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. G2 moderate storm levels reached. Moderate geomagnetic storm alert. Geomagnetic responses increased and a G2 level storm has been reached. G2 geomagnetic storm key messages. What is a moderate geomagnetic storm? A less common moderately intense disturbance in Earth's magnetic field. It often varies in intensity between lower levels and moderate storm conditions over the course of some hours during the duration of the event. What should you do? Those under or near the 30 minute predicted auroral extent may look for aurora if at night and should weather conditions permit. Possible Technological effects, slight risk for some controllable power fluctuations in elements of our power grid, generally negligible impacts for short duration events to spacecraft operations. May 16th, 1410 UTC time, G2 moderate geomagnetic storm levels were reached at 834 UTC time. Enhanced geomagnetic conditions continue, but are decreasing as of 1230 UTC time. Stay tuned for updates. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I believe the storm is from the large X flare out of 3664 after it already went around the limb. That's correct. The one they say wouldn't affect Earth. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the boulder. KP index, we see three hours of a geomagnetic disturbance followed by a G1 geomagnetic storm for six hours followed by more disturbance over the last three hours. Fredericksburg shows a G1 geomagnetic level storm followed by six hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. And our estimated planetary index, the one that NOAA and NASA has just updated for their use, shows what looks like a G2 geomagnetic storm followed by what looks really like six hours more of G2 geomagnetic storm. We'll see on the next page. And then the college index, they have a geomagnetic disturbance followed by six hours of a G2 geomagnetic storm. Over to the estimated planetary KP index, take a closer look. Looks like we were in a G2 geomagnetic storm from 6 to 9, followed by 6 hours of a G1 geomagnetic storm. It looks like that is dwindling. Now, over to Discover Real-Time Solar Winds, it looks like NASA and NOAA were incorrect with their predictions again. They said the large X-flare that was, well, covered by the limb would not affect Earth. I knew that it would. Because that's the exact area that Earth's geomagnetic connection to our sun actually attaches. And that is the connection that pulls us along with the sun and forces us to orbit the sun. And that Parker spiral connection leads right back to Earth. Thus, the energy flowed right through it at Earth, period. And here we can see the impact. It's almost like a double impact, but really it's just one that got stronger and stronger. There's 30 centimeters cubed. It plateaued here at 29, 30. Went on 31 for some time here. All in all, we're going to say this started about 6 UTC time. And it looks like it's just starting to dwindle here. Right after about 1230 UTC time. We also had a little uptick in solar winds up to about 525. And this is all confirmed. Uh, although this should not go down here as plasma spikes. 
Uh, but the first part is confirmed with temperature. This makes a little sense. Uh, it should actually increase with the plasma increase. And looking at our ghost x-ray flux, a good guess would be this very strong x-flare that was mostly eclipsed by our limb. But all explosions from that side of the limb seem to be geoeffective towards Earth as we've seen over and over again. I can't believe that NASA and NOAA wouldn't have made that call. Now, there is some good news as well. We're coming out of a proton storm. We just seem to work our way below the space weather threshold here. Now, that was the good news. We are still in a polar cap absorption event. And we still have protons raining down and leaking in the North Pole and South Pole, as we can see. And we have for the last several hours. More good news is there's been very little flaring all day. We're talking sea flares, ladies and gentlemen. With that said, God bless you and yours. Stay safe. Please share. Please subscribe. And always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.